in the Lukina Drama Trojama Cave Systems of Velebit, Croatia. Between July 29th and August 8th, 2010, a team of cavers and biologists found something that they've never seen before. They found something tiny, translucent, and completely new. So let's go back in time and take a look at what was discovered in Croatia in 2010. Hey guys, it's Oliver, and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, Exploring Exotics. Meet Zospium thalassum, also known as the Croatian cave snail and the domed land snail. Before we get into the actual animal, let's talk about the cave system and the expedition that uncovered it. As mentioned before, this snail has only been found in Croatia, specifically West Croatia, and even more specifically, the Lukina Jama Trojama cave systems and even more specifically, 3,000 feet below the Earth's surface in that cave system. Now, this cave system is the deepest cave system in Croatia and is in the top 20 deepest cave systems in the whole world. Its deepest point being 4,662 feet. This expedition was done by a group of cavers and biologists of the Croatian Biospheological Society, primarily to determine the cave system's depth, but they also did collect specimen along the way. This cave system contains three layers with differing climates. This makes the biodiversity extremely unique. The first 660 feet of the cave system is permanently covered by thick layers of snow and ice and has an average air temperature of around 34 degrees Fahrenheit. The cave system does progressively get warmer the further you go down, with an average air temperature of around 36 degrees Fahrenheit in the middle and 39 degrees Fahrenheit at the bottom. Starting at depths of 2,438 feet, the team started taking note of empty shells. This persisted down to the lake of the cave at 4,567 feet. The shells were usually found embedded in layers of mud. The team ended up collecting eight different shells over several days, and they also recovered a living specimen. This specimen was found in a large chamber at 3,220 feet. The air temperature of this chamber was around 37.9 degrees Fahrenheit to 38.3 degrees Fahrenheit, with an air humidity of 100%. The specimen, of course, was Zospium thalassum. But at this time, there was no name for this species. They were totally new to biologists, and even in 2024, we still have a lot to learn about these animals. So what did we learn about them? Well, we learned that they are actually a lot like other members of their genus, Zospium. Most known members of the genus Zospium are blind snails with translucent shells. They're some of the smallest terrestrial gastropods known and live in deep cave systems. So Zospium thalassum is no exception. They are blind. After all, why would you have a need for eyesight when you are living in complete darkness 24-7? And they also possess that signature translucent shell. According to Dr. Alexander M. Wagand, the one to name Zospium thalassum, snails normally use pigment to hide, to protect themselves, or to mate. When you are in a cave, the mating partner can't see you, or enemies can't see you, so there is no need for pigmentation. And of course, the species is also notably tiny. When I say tiny, I mean that they measure in at around one to two millimeters. Millimeters in length. And they are also extremely slow moving. According again to Wagand, research suggests that they can only move a few centimeters a week and mainly crawl in circles. Research still suggests that they do get around just with passive transportation. Because of what we know about passive transportation and because of where these snails are found, the main hypothesis is that they get around with running water, larger animals, or even air currents. Ultimately, the living specimen collected was sent to Dr. Wagen so he could identify it, and he formally named the species in 2013. The specimen currently rests deceased in the Senckenberg Museum in Frankfurt, Germany. And that is really all of the information that I could get my hands on about this species. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you learned something new or at the very least found it entertaining. As always, give this video a like for the algorithm. Comment down below what you want to learn about next. All of my links, including my Instagram account, my art Instagram account, my Facebook group, my wife and I's Etsy, and most importantly, all of the sources I used in today's video will be found in the description below. And lastly, subscribe to this channel if you are into this kind of content or really any animal kind of content. I upload every single Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, alternating between exotic animal education and exotic pet care. 
but you can hit the bell if you don't want to remember all of that. And as always, I will see you guys next week. Bye.